Hello, everyone. Welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence asking forgiveness of my sin and defenses that I've done against you. Father, I ask that you will be with this devotional today. Help us to understand everything that it is that you want us to understand. Help us to really be able to, in this Sabbath day, find rest in you. Go to you with all of our burdens, all of our cares, all of our joys, and all of our sorrows, Lord. Help us, Father God, to seek your face, seek your will above our own. Father, I ask that you will be with those who are struggling today. Lord, you know their struggles. You know each and everything that is going on in their life in every situation. Father, we don't know these things, but you do. We don't know details, but you do. And we take comfort in knowing that even though we don't understand what our brothers and our sisters are going through, you do. So when we lift them up in prayer, we know that we are lifting them up to a God who is all-knowing and all-powerful. There is not one detail that escapes your knowledge, that escapes your wisdom. Father, I thank you and I praise you because you are our God. You are the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. So Lord, we trust that you will be with those who are hurting, those that we love who are going through different situations. Father, take care of them, provide for them each and every need. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Go to Him. It was written by Milagros Quintero and translated by Maria Elena Cardona. Our biblical base comes from Mark chapter 5, verses 21 through 34. So says the word of God. Now when Jesus had crossed over again by the boat to the other side, a great multitude gathered to him, and he was by the sea. And behold, one of the rulers of the synagogue came, Jairus by name, and when he saw him, he fell at his feet, and begged him earnestly, saying, My little daughter lies at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her, that she may be healed, and she will live. So Jesus went with him, and a great multitude followed him and thronged him. Now a certain woman, who had a flow of blood for twelve years, and had suffered many things from many physicians, she had spent all that she had, and was no better, but rather grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd, and touched his garment, for she said, If only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that power had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and said, Who touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, You see the multitude thronging on you, and you say, Who touched me? And he looked around to see her who had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, daughter your faith has made you well go in peace and be healed of your affliction amen may we be blessed by the reading of the scripture when you feel sad sick or down go to christ share with him your concerns through his word he tells us come to me all you who labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest the lord is calling you to come closer because only he can dry your tears and solve your problems he is your help in tribulation. Are you sick? Go to him in prayer, and with faith you will receive divine healing. Do you feel tormented? Draw near to him, and he will give you his peace and make you rest confident. Where else will we go? Only in Jesus we have words of eternal life. His love is unmatched. He is real, omnipotent, omnipotent. In ancient times many came to Jesus to be healed to listen to him in the synagogues with him they felt peace and security they found relief for their souls pain or illness many followed him and adored him 
like the woman with the issue of blood who came to him desperate because she had already spent a lot on doctors she only touched the hem of his cloak and virtue came out of him and she received the healing amen may the lord receive the honor and the glory
Amen, what a beautiful song. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading as we journey through the New Testament. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children, now and forever. Amen.